Hi, guys. I think this is the last part in our series. This is going to be part four, and it's mostly calling to the Kenites. So I hope you are sticking with me, and I'm, I'm hoping that you are watching everything, you guys, because if you do watch everything and put me on double speed, put me on double speed, okay, you will see, like, to me, it's miraculous what the Spirit does. Um, and it's all by divine revelation. So I hope that you are able to see that in these videos. So there's a couple of things that I want to reiterate. We have a new tower. The tower is not the tower of Babel anymore. It's the tower of Bebel. And it is a place where you follow the divine inspiration of God. Um, it is a new map and a new grid. It's a new grid. What is grid, you guys? Grid is a face. Grid is a face. We have we're putting the new face on God. We are also putting the new face on humanity. Uh, this is why it's not the cone-shaped pyramid. It's because this pyramid has many facets. Many facets are many faces. A new grid. It's the place where you get your power from. Your power grid is new. It's now refined oil instead of crude oil coming out in the darkness. This is a refined oil. It burns for eight days, which is eternity. Um, it's also Atlas because it's a map. This is a map to the treasure chest. And it's to the X marks the spot, you guys. A new Atlas is a new one who bears the weight of the government on his shoulders. Okay. It, it's a new Atlas, right? Atlas bared the weight of the world on his shoulders. We have talked about the new Atlas on this channel. Okay. It's that type of idea. So there's, there's a lot of ideas that we are covering very, very quickly, but it's because we have already touched on these in all of my previous videos. We have touched on these um, topics and principles. So we're kind of coming back around to the fullness of them. So there's a new collective consciousness also that we are tapping into. It's the new I am. Vitruvian man is the new consciousness of man, meaning not the old I am, but the new I am. It's a new hive. It's a new grid, a new collective. It's the new DNA. It's the new Akashic records. It's the new book of remembrance. It's the annals of the library of heaven. We are putting in the pieces there was one video where we were working with Galactic Mother and she had said, and I didn't want to say it, and the spirit kept saying it to me, that something was stolen from our library, stolen from our library before we were ready to publish. I am seeing now that what was stolen from our DNA, because the library is the ladder, the step ladder, the bookshelf, The bookshelf, the DNA ladder, um, it was gold and silver. It was gold and silver that was stolen from our tissue, but stolen from our makeup. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly, but I'm getting a clearer picture. It's because they brought to the forefront of the tissue, the blood. They brought to the forefront, the gore. Okay, it blood suckers, the leeches, right? Which is what um, Pharisee means. It means parasite. The, the leeches brought to the surface. So all you can see is everything tainted in blood, gelding, everything tainted, um, everything painted red. And so all you could see is gore, 
Gore means moral filth. In that way, it's like they secretly were harvesting the blood and, I'm sorry, the gold and silver threads, the gold and silver threads in you, the light, the spark of light, the divinity in you. And it's because no matter what, no matter if you're focusing on moral filth and darkness, you are some type of God. It's just, are you the Baphomet God or are you the white Buffalo God? Um, you gave your energy to the darkness, your energy, your gold and silver threads. And instead they put a red thread. I hope you guys know the significance of this in the Bible, the red thread. Okay. Perez and Zara, the twins of Tamar. Um, they put a red thread right in front of you and you took that thread Okay, while secretly they're harvesting your gold and silver, which is your stardust, the ability to become God, your stardust. They harvested the stardust and they, the dark ones, became gods. Right out from under your nose. And how do they do it? It's by having you focus on darkness, red, gore, moral filth, violence, war evil. That's how they do it. And so when you focus your energy into those dark things, Jesus says, that's what you become. That's what you become. Those dark things. You focus on the light. Eventually your gold and silver threads come back to you, cleansing the tissue out of all the moral filth. Okay. So we've got the Beeble, the Beeble, I love it. If you will go look at pictures of the Apis bull, it's the golden calf. It's the golden calf. This is why Moses had the people grind up the golden calf and drink it down. It's because their own gold was being stolen from them. And so the more they process, you know, the gold, the more they can take. The more they take in the gold, the more they can take. Okay? So it, it was, the secret was in that gold dust. It was the manna from heaven. Um, it's monatomic gold, and maybe we'll get more on that, because there's something that it does monatomic is something that it does in the atomic, in the atom, in the nuclear um, radiation, which is the power of the stars, nuclear radiation. Okay. There's something that it does. Okay. Well, this apis bull in between his horns, he's got a sun In between his horns, he's got a son with a serpent head, as wise as serpents. He overcame the serpent. He wrangled the serpent as wise as serpents, as wise as serpents, the capstone, the capstone. That's it. The son who's as wise as a serpent. It's Jesus. Okay. So you've got Jesus as the bee bull. (laughs) <laughs> this is how I see it. First of all, the bee contains honey. Okay. What's honey? It's the land of milk and honey. It's the right information. The bee bull is also Deborah and Deborah means bee setting in order. So the correct beehive, the correct consciousness, the correct godliness, the new grid, the new grid. Ranging in order. It's Roy G. Biv. She organizes things properly, just like the trophy wife, if you've been with me. She means to lead, to guide, lead flocks or herds to pasture, to rule, to direct a people, to speak properly, to put words in order. My entire career. (laughs) Okay, so 
What is the root word of the word Deborah? Devar. Devar in Hebrew. It means the word. It means to speak. The, the bee. Jesus, the bee bull. So he's pasturing the people. He's putting them in order. He's arranging things in proper order, arranging the word in proper order. And you are the word made flesh. The word. He is following the word. But the bee stings. The bee stings. Yes, you've got to take a little bit of poison. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The entire way. The entire way. Because the bee is injecting the poison, but the poison is the medicine. The radiation cures the cancer, but you have to have it in little doses first. Because then when the big dose comes, the big dose of radiation, you are able to handle it. You are able to handle it. So he's, he's following the bee and he's the bull. He's the one that carries the burden of the government on his shoulders, the bull, the yoke on his shoulders, the government on his shoulders. It's first the law, the beast of burden. The law is the mark of the beast. Okay. Government, something that every human being is under. Everybody's taken the mark. He is the beast of burden also. Jesus carrying the the weight of the government on his shoulders. So he is the white bull. Solar flare. He's following the honey. Fiery darts. He's receiving little stings the entire time. But then he's the missile coming up, nuclear missile coming up out of the ocean. The one who went to hell conquered it because he kept his light focused on the bee and missile, M-I-S-S-A-L, the true word of God, all cleansed. He carried the weight of sin on his shoulders because it is government. It is law, only, only law that makes you sinful. Only. It is the knowledge of of the law that makes you sinful. It's all over the Bible. Romans 3.20, if you want to start there. Because if there were no law, how could you be judged as sinful, as guilty, as a criminal? You couldn't be. He carried the weight of your sin on his shoulders. Who is he? Here we go. Red ox, white buffalo. um, Ironic, you guys. It's ironic because the red ox would be the red man, the indigenous. Okay? He's the native. He really is. And then the white buffalo is for that side of the world. That was their story. That was their story, the white buffalo. Coming to bring the knowledge of the seven ceremonies and the seven smokes. It's the same as the seven stars, the seven angels, the seven candlesticks, the seven churches. Same story, different culture. Okay. Okay. Red ox, white buffalo, goat, 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 ba, bull is the sheep, is the goat, the goat, the Baphomet. Okay. That's what we have on this side, the Baphomet. Then we've got the white.
I'm sorry, my computer just paused, literally froze me in midair for 30 seconds. It, it, it kept saying 14 minutes, 14 minutes, and it didn't change. It didn't tick 1401, 1402, 1403, 1404. And, and it came back and now it's ticking and it's 1430. I don't know what just happened with it. It just like absolutely paused in midair. But I have been seeing, um, heaven was quiet for a half hour, you know, half hour of silence in heaven. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Red, red, red. On the day of atonement, they would take a red thread, the red ox, the sinful, bloody, gory, beat up, red, demonic, flesh, lusty, and tie it to the door of the temple. They took two goats, and whichever the lot fell on, okay? Two goats, you guys, it's it's the two factions that I've been talking about. The ones who say they follow Jesus, but they only looked at darkness. And then the ones who say they follow Jesus, and they found the light. Okay, the one goat, right away, sacrifice dead Right away. Sorry, red goat. Sorry, goat. The other one runs off into the wilderness carrying the sins of the Israelites on his shoulders. He runs off into the wilderness. If the literally the red thread turned white, they knew that God accepted the situation, and the sins were atoned for. It, I guess it literally used to turn white. A red ribbon on the door. It's the red ox and the white bull. There's two different goats, too, that we are talking about. That's why in our picture, you guys, this is the age of Aquarius, but it's Chevron. Okay, here's the real goat, the red goat, okay, the Baphomet. This is Chevron. It, it's arranging the goat's horns in order. They used to tie one of the, the other ribbon went on the horn of the goat that escaped. Okay, what does this mean, you guys? It's turning the red in back into the white. This is literally the pattern of the weave of the Shroud of Turin. If you have the white linen, the Shroud of Turin, at the flash, you've got the right film. You've got the right film, the Shroud of Turin. Okay? Those of you who watch me know what that means. What... what, video have you been recording on your life's journey, on your bookshelf, on your DNA scale, in your library? What have you been recording? Do you have books of horror and books of evil and books of darkness and books of the plan of Satan? Okay, go for it. From the red thread to the white thread. Okay. So, as I was looking at all of this, you guys, the Spirit was talking to me for a very particular reason about Taurus the bull and how those born under the sign of Taurus, their birth gemstone is the emerald, the emerald, the Taurus, the emerald. So, I want to take you to the story of Deborah in the Bible. Okay, let me think of what I'm doing here. Okay, Deborah. No, we're going to go to Judges 5. Okay, 
Here we go. She was a great judge. She was a great warrior. And she joined up with Barak. She joined up with Barak. Awake, awake, Deborah. Awake, awake, utter a song. Arise, Barak, and lead thy captivity captive, thou son of Abinoam. Barak. A lightning flash. Ooh, how evil some people think this is. A lightning flash. It's Satan falling like lightning from heaven. No, it's not. No, it is not. It is Jesus coming like lightning from east to west. East to west. Why east to west? Coming like lightning from east to west. East has the sacred cow. They will not slaughter the animal and feed it to the God of sacrifice and blood and lust. The West does have the sacred cow that they slaughter by the billions and feed the blood to the God of animal and flesh sacrifice. Okay? Like from East to West, the Beeble to the Babel, the Beeble to the Babel. That's how Jesus comes, like lightning, like lightning. And the root word, lightning flashes, you guys, flashes arrowhead. If you put Deborah and Barak together, you've got the pastor the Son of God, and the lightning flashes, you guys. Solar flare, fiery darts. Solar flare, fiery darts. The bee and the sting. The bee and the sting. It's quite amazing. So, casting forth to send lightning, used of God, of course, And then we're going to go to the word emerald, because like I said, emerald was given to me by the Spirit. So I want to take you to Ezekiel 28. (laughs) Oh, God is so good. Okay, so who are we talking to here? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Son of man, Tyrus, blah, 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 thy wisdom, thy great wisdom, traffic, you have increased your riches, lifted up your heart because of your riches. You have set your heart as the heart of God. Therefore, I will bring strangers upon you. The terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defy your brightness." Blah, blah, blah. Okay. When you were in the Garden of Eden, remember, we all started out as angels with silver and gold threads. You have been in Eden, the Garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, the topaz, the diamond, the barrel, the onyx, the sapphire, the emerald, the carbuncle, the gold. The workmanship of the tablets and thy pipes was repaired in thee in the day that you were created. We all had the upright tower. Okay? The filth and the gore of the world and the darkness and the evil and the poison turned our tower of New Jerusalem upside down and made it the Tower of Babel. We all started out like that. Okay, that tower is about to come down. The Tower of Babel is about to come down. I will show you in Deborah. Look at look at what happens here. Um, forgive me for taking forever. That's why I said put me on double speed. Okay, look at this. Um, because they came not to help the Lord, to the help of the Lord against the mighty, the Lord 
Against the mighty, there are some that are mightier than the Lord here. One Lord is the God of darkness. The other Lord is the God of light. The Prince of Peace versus the Lord of hosts, the God of war. Okay, here we go. Blessed above women shall Jael, the wife of Heber, the Kenite, B. Blessed shall she be among women in the tent. Okay, you guys, we have been Kenites, Canes. We slew people unaware when we were dumb at first. We brought people into this religion. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ led them right into death, be baptized into death, buried with Jesus by baptism into death, right into the grave, right to the altar of Satan, baptism by water, baptism by fire, right into the lake of fire. And we did not know how to get them back up into the resurrection. Okay, that's why we were Heber from the land beyond, right? Fallen angels. It's the ones who take the knowledge of the gods. Fallen angels, you had the knowledge of the God. Your spiritual eyes were opened. You saw devils and demons and Satan and God and Jesus and angels. You had the knowledge of the spirit realm because you died. The wife of Heber the Kenite, the region beyond the Canes, the Canes. This is who we've been talking to. He asked water and she gave him milk. She brought forth butter in a lordly dish. She put her hand to the nail and her right hand to the workman's hammer. And with the hammer, she smote Sisera. Battle array. The one who has the battle array. He's got the ram's horns. He's got the iron mallets and the swords and the things of war. He's got the goat skin, the red heifer covering. Esau's hairy red hair is what Sisera means. But she smote his head with her hammer, and when she pierced and stricken through his temples, through his temples, yes, putting you in a rompe cabeza right here. It means a puzzle, a parable. She, Jael, will do this to the Kenites because she's become as wise as the serpent who has a forked tongue and speaks in parables. Parables of truth, Jael has, because she has seen both sides of the coin. Yah and El. She has seen both gods face to face face-to-face. Absolutely. We have looked Satan in the eyes and conquered him. And now we are seeing the God of light face-to-face. Then you shall be known in full, even as you are known. You shall know in full, even as you are known. Yah, the God of the Old Testament, And El, Jesus' father, Jael, she puts the nail through the temples of the Kenites. She was strong enough to go against the gods of war and break down their temple. Who is she? She's one of the mountain goats. She's the one who ran off into the wilderness, not the one who the lot falls upon to get slaughtered on the day of atonement, on the day of judgment, on Yom Kippur. She will not be. She was the one who went into the wilderness. The 
Ibex, this she goat. She is a mountain goat, this Jael. She's an Ibex. Perhaps also the chamois, Camwa. It's pronounced both ways. So let us go look up what kind of goat is escaping to the wilderness. <laughs> okay. God is so good. First of all, to dress a pelt with oil. This is that anointing oil that's coming out of the top of your head and running down your body, Jael. To rub or buff with a camwa, chamois. We've already talked about the buffer. To shine up your diamonds and your gemstones. And what does her name mean? Well, let me show you first. A piece of leather, a soft, pliable leather from any of various skins dressed with oil, especially fish oil. This is what you dry your car with or wax your car or wash your car, whatever you do with that. That's the chamois. This is it. This is the skin. It's dressed with oil. And what does it mean? Gems. Your new shiny skin filled with gems. Not only your breastplate, but your anointed oily skin with gems, Jael. This is part of your new Jerusalem body. Two goats on Yom Kippur. One done right away. Red ox, red heifer. One white buffalo, bee bull. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see your fate. Okay. So let's get back to... Um, Ezekiel 28. Okay. Emerald and carbuncle. Keep that in mind as I bring to you what the Spirit said to us yesterday in the video. Causeway, causeway, the Spirit said to me, a word that I would never use unless I was told to. A raised road or path as across low or wet ground. Yes, Myrtle, the one that grew in the bog, in the swamp, but were handed the golden scepter and you became Esther. Venus, Aphrodite, redeemed Myrtle. Redeemed Myrtle. A causeway, a road or path out of the swamp. A raised road. To pave a road with cobblestones or pebbles. You're going to find out what this road is paved with. The root word, causey. Causey, the British dialect, an ancient Roman highway, a causeway. Causey. <laughs> Paved with limestone calcs, you guys, for those of you who understand that the heel was dropping footprints all along. Lime. Stone, a limestone highway. A limestone highway. A limestone highway. Baraketh. A gem, 
a precious stone, an emerald. Baraketh, lightning from east to west. The root word, Barak. Jesus has laid for you an emerald path, a causeway, a stairway to heaven. A stairway to heaven for you, an emerald path for you, for you, scapegoat, a pathway to Oz, Azazel. Taurus the Bull, Emerald City, a pathway to Oz for the Azazel, the scapegoat, the one who would have been doomed for sacrifice and slaughter if he had not turned the red into white. Azazel, entire removal. The scapegoat, the escape, the goat of departure, my goodness, my goodness, the glittering path to Emerald City. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. I'll see you in the next video.